Hey, how's it going? This is Rob from Justin's Toys, and today I'm going to show you how to make the hexa fish. But instead of having two looms, you only need one. So let me show you. I have all my pieces right here. This is the hex fish. This is the final product. All right, and what you're going to do is you only need two of these and one of the bases, the big bases. And what you're going to want to do is make sure the arrow is pointing away from you because that's going to make it easier. And put one here and another one right next to it identically as far so that they're completely parallel and the pegs are aligned perfectly. And you're going to see that these six pegs right here are the six pegs that are actually going to be used for the six pins on the hexafish. So what you want to do is you want to grab your first color, make an eight, put it on the first two pegs. Grab your second color, make an eight, put it on your second and third peg. All right, your third rubber band, make an eight, put it on your next two pegs. Your fourth rubber band, next two pegs. Fifth rubber band, oops, wrong color. Next two pegs. And then sixth one. All right. Now, once you got that, you want to push down and grab your next color. Put it around all six sides so it's going to be a rectangle instead of a hexagon not as appealing but it'll get the job done and you don't have to go and get the second kit in this case all right then your next rubber band and put it around all six sides and just like that if you take a close look you'll see you want to make sure that they are not mixed up top rubber band is always on top of the bottom two and they're not confusing each other if you mix it up it's gonna make your pattern not look very appealing so you want to kind of just focus and make sure that they're perfectly aligned all right now you're gonna grab the hook and you're grabbing the two bottom rubber bands which should be the same color if you chose the same color on your first six and then pull it over that top peg All right. so these bottom two and pull it over then these bottom two and pull it over and these bottom two you're gonna do that on all six sides And these bottom two, bring it over. And then the last bottom two. All right, so you push down, then you grab your next color, and then you put it on top like a rectangle. And then you grab just the bottom, and then you pull it over to the top. So it's going to be that lime green over to the top, over to the top. And then over to the top. one then you push down grab your next rubber band mm -hmm. make sure everything's over it's gonna be teal green grab the bottom one bring it over to the top 
and you get the idea. Same routine, same sequence, just over and over. Eventually you're going to see the rubber band building and you're going to pull it out the other end. Alright, so as you can see I'm about a quarter done. Um, I've been looming, this is probably about 20 or 30 rubber bands and you'll see it start to get congested right there in the middle. What you're going to do is you're going to take your hook and actually grab some of those initial eights and pull it out so that it'll come out through the other side and that'll actually end up straightening that out and loosening it so that it's a little bit easier. All right, so I'm just going to continue. All right, so I'm finally where I want to be as far as how long this rubber band bracelet is. And now what I'm going to do is clip it. And just like my other HD Hexafish clipping video, I'm still going to take that bottom rubber band and bring it over the top so that there's only one rubber band left on the sides. Okay. So there you go. Now I'm going to take one of the ends and bring it over to one next to it. Then take the next end and bring it over into the peg next to it. And then bring the next end and bring it over to the peg next to it. All right, so now it's going to be a triangle. Make sure you work in either a clockwise or a counterclockwise order. That way it's going to be neat. All right, then you grab your next rubber band, put it around the three triangles, like so. It doesn't matter if you're over or under this peg. It's still going to create the same difference. And you grab the two bottom pegs from under. I mean the two bottom rubber bands from under and then you bring it over okay so there's those two those two and then those two okay now you want to transfer all three ends of this last rubber band onto one peg Okay, and now you're going to clip. There you go. So, as you can see, I got all three ends, and now you can pull it off. Again, straighten that out so it tightens up. And now you want to clip the other end. Okay, so just like the other hexafish ending video, you are actually going to transfer this back onto the loom. And you're going to see here, you're going to make sure that you identify whichever one is supposed to be on the outside. I mean, the easiest thing you can do is just grab both of them and then one at a time transfer them back onto the loom. So there's the two rubber bands, lime green and yellow on, and whichever one is the next colors, or the next side. 
you grab and put on the next side grab and put on next side you actually have to bring it down to that six peg if you use four you're not going to have enough space it gets a little bit more difficult around the end when you have only a couple of pegs left Alright, so now I got all six sides on. I'm actually going to rip these off right now because they're going to confuse you. Alright, so once you have it back on the loom, you want to identify which one is the bottom. Alright, in my situation, it's going to be the yellow. As you can see, the yellow falls under the green. So, it's definitely going to be the yellow if yellow and green is on the outside. Um, so, I'm going to, again, grab the bottom rubber band, bring it over the top. And then, there's only going to be one rubber band left. And it's basically the same step as before when we clip the other end. So you go in. Sometimes you have you might have to go in and try to reorder them because they might be in the wrong order. So I actually went in and I made sure that they were in the right order. And once again, just like before, take one rubber band, bring it over to the next. Take the next rubber band, bring it over to the next. And take the next rubber band and bring it over to the next. Okay. And in this situation, it does get really tight. So I would say be very cautious. All right, then you get your next color. Put it on top. Push down a little bit, make sure you got some space. Make a triangle. And again, bring those bottom two up and over. Okay. And bring it over. Bottom two. Just make sure you got the bottom two only. Up and over. And then the bottom two. And the last end. Up and over. And now you can transfer these three last ones onto one peg. It's caught here. Don't worry about it. And this last one. 
So now you have all three ends to that rubber band on this one peg. Straighten it out. And then clip it. There you go. And that's it. You're done.